Okay, Team Brisk, I see you. You are back for another Brisk Bite. And this time we are going to be leaning into a tool for probably our K123 teachers, um, those who teach our littles, uh, anyone learning to read rather than reading to learn just yet. So if you are joining us on our Brisk Tools page over at bit.ly slash try brisk tools you are going to find that decodable text tile and we are going to go ahead and try it when i was teaching littles we often found that it was just almost impossible to have enough texts in the classroom uh, we had leveled readers we had all the things but kids would be ravenous for them and once they started gaining momentum they not wanted more and more and more and more especially for small groups and one-on-ones and so brisk will never let you down you can generate as many decodable texts as you need so brisk has opened up a blank google doc for us we've got our brisk extension activated and we're going to choose decodable text the box you'll notice looks mostly the same, except for we have a drop down here that's pretty new. We've got the ability to select decodable criteria such as short vowels, consonants, consonant blends, diphthongs, digraphs, etc. So I'm going to leave this on consonant blends. I've also selected a standard for phonics and decoding. And I believe I'm somewhere in the first, first grade criteria realm here. So what I'm going to do is tell Brisk that students are working on consonant blends and digraphs. And I am going to also tell it that um, they also enjoy working in our class garden. And maybe Brisk will take that context and apply it to um, some decodable text using digraphs and consonant blends. So let's go ahead and say Brisk it and we'll let Brisk do its thing in the background. I can imagine even doing this last minute. Um, perhaps you've got a new student that day at a different level than what you had planned for, or you've got that student that is just so thirsty for uh, new reading and they're coming up to your table and you haven't prepared anything for them. You can just whip, whip one of these out on the fly, ready to go. Um, and here is a story that is themed around the garden with all of those consonant blends and digraphs. And I can also go back in and refine over here, add more criteria, make it longer, shorter, and so on. So this is the answer to, I've ran out of books, I've run out of other decodable texts, you're borrowing from the second grade team, you're running across the hall to get more books, no more. Brisk says we got you. Thanks for tuning in for this Brisk Bite. We hope to see you back here for another one really soon.